badly installed gas appliances. My name's Alan Hart and in today's video we've got lots and lots of badly installed gas appliances from badly installed boilers, unsafe boilers, flues not connected correctly, we've got water heaters filled up with expanding foam, all sorts, all sorts in this video. Um, so yeah, um, thank you to everybody who has sent these videos in. These are, all these videos today are from you guys and I can only thank you, thank you very much for sending them in. Keep sending them in. I will add my WhatsApp details below in this video. And as I said, please, please keep sending them in. And if you can, please put a thumbs up on the video. It really helps with the videos. Please subscribe. And also, if you can, ring the bell. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's go and have a look at these videos. So we've got a main multi-point water heater. The customer has decided there was too much air getting into the side of this boiler. So he's blocked it up. Wow. And for all the apprentices and the trainee gas engineers that are watching this, this would be a balanced flu. So where the foam is on this, that would be the air intake into the boiler. And then that's the air that, that's provided for combustion. And then it's a balanced flu. And we can, we, we'll talk about balanced flu a bit more later on. Um, but as you can see there, the customer has, has totally blocked the air intake. Very, very dangerous, very dangerous. My advice is never, ever, ever DIY with gas. Just call a plumber out. And just to explain what this one is, this is a Baxi combi boiler and it's not got the correct flue fitted. You can see there, it's just the wrong flue. Shocking, absolutely shocking. Another video sent in from a subscriber and this is a glowworm boiler that he's gone out to do a service on and it's it's a fairly new boiler and when, he's look, when he goes to look at the flue the flue's not sealed. Obviously, well, if I was installing it, I'd be putting some sand and cement in there. The underfloor heating hasn't been wired in correctly. So it's just been wedged open with a little bit of wire just to keep it open. So obviously the customer wouldn't have control over the system. If we have a look at the condensate pipe on this, you can see it goes down in overflow, it's connected with a cable tie, it just goes down and it goes to outside. We'll have a look outside shortly, I'll show you how that terminates outside. It's also got one of the screws missing out of the case on this one. And then if we go outside and we have a look at the condensate pipe, obviously in winter that's going to be an issue probably going to freeze up if it gets a bit of snow down there and just freeze up and then if we go and have a look at the flu so as the trainees will know the flu should be within two if it's less than two meters it should have a terminal guard on also there's no sand and cement on this i personally would put sand and cement on Another Friday special, people. So, another gas fire. Come to check to see if it's safe for a very nice lady that I look after in uh, in South Devon. So this fire, she's worried about um, the safety. I've never looked at this fire before, but some old asbestos board. You can pretty much guarantee what's going on inside. So I'm going to pull this forward, and you can all have a look. I'll try and rest my camera there for a second, so I don't drop it. And 
it's out. And all we have is a hole. So the hole for the flue, the outlet there from the fire. So it's obviously here it's meant to have a closure plate for all the apprentices out there. I'm going to have a nice closure plate fitted. And also the other thing to bear in mind is when things aren't sealed around the edges, also gives you a, a little warning. And we can pretty much guarantee in here we're going to find some wood. I'll place a wager on it. And right there, wood. Wood, if that's focusing. Uh, and a bit of a wooden panel that's been knocked out, or a bit of asbestos board that's been knocked out to open up the chimney. So, again, the importance of uh, pulling out gas fires. Don't just smoke test it, gas rate it, and burn a pressure in that pressure. Take the fire out, have a quick look, but another good one for a Friday. So, just a word to the wise. Job number two, half past nine, Friday morning. Can only be a Friday, guys. So, where's the gas meter to the customer? Who happens to be a friend, actually? First time I've been here. It's outside. Well, that's an electrical box, right? So, okay. Slightly odd, but hang on. Something doesn't look right. Ah. So there's the old backboard that's been cut and done whatever they want to do. And they've slid this somehow over the top. And it doesn't quite fit, does it? And, uh, oh, hang on a minute. Where's the gas lead about? Yeah, it's in the back there, look. If I zoom in, there it is. Try and turn that off in an emergency. <laughs> Love it. So, I know there are guys out there that don't do standing pressure, working pressure, and gas rating. They just do everything at the boiler end. But the importance of having a quick look while you're here. Ciao. Morning, everyone. So a nice, simple um, Worcester service. Wasn't getting some very good readings on the gas valve. And rather than just adjusting it, I don't know if this one's had a uh, burner seal or not. So I thought I'd take the top off and in good time. It's not gone completely, but... You know, is that going to last another 12 months? I'm glad I uh, took it out. Um, electrode isn't burnt down on the uh, recognition electrode there, so I'll probably just clean these up, but I'll put a new uh, new gasket on. And I thought I'll pull the baffles out. I'm glad I did. Stay at that one. Now, so the readings weren't that bad, but rather than just it, I'd, uh, you know, I hadn't, check the burner seal and it well, I hadn't you know checked it wasn't uh, compromised and it wasn't when I did my analyzer readings around the edge it, the readings were good they were in it wasn't passing obviously it's not gone all the way through but it's brittle as anything but just goes to show readings only slightly out I probably could have adjusted it on the gas valve yet the top baffle completely burnt through so another reason just to uh, don't always trust your analyzer readings can you guarantee that's going to last another full 12 months or not this one's just the normal amount of build up of scum on it but um yeah word to the wise be bile and whilst i'm talking about these worcesters supposedly if they've got the purple dot on them or you've got the more modern version of this uh the worcester boilers the um the green stars they've got now an inbuilt surge protection on the fan or something but even so, I always try and leave the uh, power connected because I've done it so many times where I've taken it out to check either change the baffles, change the seals, something like that. Disconnected the uh, the fan, put the fan back in, and when you turn the power back on, you know you initially get that vroom on the fan. There was nothing, and I knew the fan was dead, and it was. And, you know, who's paying for that? You're the customer at, what, well, these are about 200 quid plus the VAT. So, yeah, I always personally... I always leave the power plugged in, so I'm not taking that risk of getting a power surge. Cheers. And thank you yet again to Elliot for that from eFry Gas Services. This is one of the boilers that I went to that's been left too long. Obviously the seal had totally burnt away. The baffles were welded in and it took some, really did take some getting out. So it's very important that you have your boiler serviced 
and not only have your boiler serviced but have your boiler serviced correctly and this one something a little bit different for the channel which is really good for you guys to send these in for me it, this is a it's a 1994 and it's ideal standard and it's an oil burner and this is a boiler service on a on an oil burner or an oil boiler and i've never worked on oil so i wouldn't be able to tell you much about any of this but clearly you can see on there that it's, it's having a good clean out it's took baffles out of there he's got his brushes in he's given it a good clean out he's got baffles there laid out on the floor to show you baffles just showing you a burner there taking burner out really really interesting to see this if anybody else has got any videos like this i i find i actually find this fascinating obviously because it's not something that i do myself so i do find this fascinating um yeah send 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 them in you can see in there it's absolutely filthy inside This is just a recent one of mine. This is a Wiesman Vitadens 100 boiler service. So this is the second year service on this one. So we've fully stripped it down, brushed it all out, and then cleaned it all out with Wiesman tool. Make sure that we get an hot muck out in between the coils on it. Obviously then check the burner seal as well before we put it all back together. Some absolutely shocking, shocking videos there. Um, yeah, some shocking, shocking stuff. Please, if you can, add some comments below. And as always, I know I keep saying this, like, share, comment. It really, really does help with the videos. And as I've said already, I'll add my WhatsApp below. If you want to send any videos in or pictures, then please send them in. Um, also, as I've said before, if you if you're a company and you do really good quality work, please get in touch. I'm happy to open this channel up to you. We get a lot of views on here now. I've had over 100 million impressions um, and over 12 million views, and I will open that up to you free of charge. All I want to do is try and raise the standards in the industry and promote good practice. So, as I say, if you do a good job. Whatever brand you fit is irrelevant. I just want to show good work. So yeah, please get in touch. As I say, my WhatsApp details will be below. And yeah, thanks very much.